Catherine has traveled all over the world during her time in the royal family as the wife of Prince William. Catherine, just like many royals, is invited to join in all sorts of activities and sports when she travels abroad on a state visit. The Princess of Wales often impresses with her sportiness on such trips. One sport she proved adept, might come as more of a surprise, however. Kate can be seen standing next to her husband in the Great Bear Rainforest. In true royal style, while Kate got back to basics with her primal fishing expedition, the same couldn't be said for her outfit. During the visit, Kate and William went to a forest that had been gifted to the UK as part of the Commonwealth Tree Plans. One of the activities the pair partook in was fishing in one of the streams. Yet instead of using a rod, the pair were encouraged to catch the fish by hand. It may sound difficult for some, but Kate shocked the crowds by easily grabbing a fish out of the stream with her own hands. Many watchers voiced their shock over her skills, Kate impressed when she joined her husband William and caught a huge fish with her bare hands. It showed she might have more in common with her husband's father Prince Charles than one might think. Kate's outfit for the outdoorsy trip featured a safari coat from Holland and Holland worth £600. She added a gingham shirt from Topshop and a cashmere jumper from Jigsaw. Then she added long tassel boots by brand Penelope Chilvers. She added large kite double drop earrings by Pippa Small. Overall Kate's fish catching outfit cost a whopping £2,000. This year, after the death of the late Queen, the King Charles decided to extend his summer holiday at Balmoral for an extra week due to the splendid fishing to be had. The royal taught the sport to both William and his brother Prince Harry, 36, when they were younger. It's a popular pastime among many of the royals. The late Queen's was a fan and is understood to have first taught Charles to fly fish for trout and salmon. King Charles took on the role of patron of the Salmon and Trout Association from her after her death. Prince Philip, in the past, is also a keen fisherman. In 2022, Kate Middleton has the best princess reaction to sampling conch during Bahamas fish fry visit. Kate Middleton and Prince William have been immersed in Bahamian culture during their visit to the Caribbean country, from a lively Junkanoo street festival to sailing on the azure waters of Montague Bay. For their final day in the Bahamas on Saturday, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge travelled to Abaco's main island and visited a fish fry a quintessentially Bahamian culinary gathering place that is found on every island in the Bahamas. During the outing, 
William and Kate met vendors who prepared a taste of Bahamian cuisine, including the local favorite, conch salad. I'm a little bit more adventurous than William is. Kate said as she stepped up to sample a piece of conch. The royal had one reaction to the taste after she expertly took a bite. The Duchess of Cambridge even stepped behind the counter to make conch salad herself as Jade Adderley, a vendor at the fish fry in Dundastown, Abaco, looked on. They also met locals on a royal walkabout. They were especially attentive to the younger children who came out to meet them. At one point, William brought a young photographer to meet Kate. Kate, who is an amateur photographer, chatted with the young girl about her camera and they looked at her pictures together. Earlier in the day, they learned about the impact that Hurricane Dorian had on the islands of Abaco and saw how communities are still being rebuilt more than two years later. Although they have received warm welcomes from many locals during their visits to Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas, they are also encountering mounting tensions in the Caribbean nations where William's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, remains head of state. The rising tide of social and economic justice movements, including calls for slavery reparations and indigenous rights expansion, are rapidly reshaping contemporary views of the monarchy at a time when it is in transition. As Elizabeth marks 70 years on the throne, William and Kate are increasingly the modern face of both the family and the institution.